Hi, I'm Jeff here from TAP. Just with another case study we've got in the workshop today. It's a 2013 Nissan Joalis. It's coming with an SRS light on, the airbag light on. Uh, but also we've noted when we went through an electrical check on it that the horn wasn't working. So good idea to do a full light check, full electrical check before you start dealing too in, big into these sorts of jobs. In this case, we worked out, the customer didn't let us know that the horn wasn't working. Uh, cleared the bolt codes, took it for a run, got it to re re replicate the problem. Again, just by turning the steering wheel, we could look at that live data and see that the resistance in the clock spring was changing. I.e. we ended up with a clock spring fault code, so that fault code came up as a B1049 clock spring SIG squib circuit failure. Pretty basic. Once we pulled it all apart to put the new clock spring in, and we actually took the horn contact off, you can see a picture of it here, that the wiring was actually broken. And we've had a couple of these now, where the wiring at the back of the horn pad, once you take the horn pad off, uh, check that wiring, because again, just movement in the steering wheel uh, it has a tendency to break that particular wire. So, a couple of things to learn from this particular job. Do a full electrical light check and, and uh, component check before you start pulling steering wheels, etc. apart, just in case there's another problem with the vehicle that you can also highlight to the customer. See you next time.